Hey guys, SmartNinja000 here, and today I have this really nice easy concept that allows you to basically place down a head and you can transform it into, first off, giant structures, um, make it directional giant structures. Um, you can even summon custom blocks with this. Um, now custom blocks are a little bit more confusing and I'll get into that. You can summon custom entities uh, and it's directional, which is really nice. Uh, no, I actually broke Mario's foot there, but it's okay. And of course it does work infinite many times. Uh, you can see I'm just doing a little bit of spamming. Um, the overlap is something to be careful about because then you can get some weird... Yeah. Um, I like how his head stayed in place and then this one's like right on top of that. Um, now the way this works is really nice. And first thing we're going to have to talk about is player rotation. Now there are 20 different data values. Now if you look at this, if you count them, there's only 16 right here, and that doesn't make sense. If you go around, you will come to this being 0 and this being 15, so you can assume that there's 16, except that there's 20. And this is because of the wall skeletons. Now, skeleton wall skull, if you can remember that for 30 seconds, the skeleton skull. Uh, so there is a difference between that, which is really nice, because if you want to do something so you place custom banners, uh, this works perfectly because... If you want to place a banner on the wall, it is different from a banner on the floor. Um, which, I mean, that's pretty obvious, but it's just nice for that, so it's pretty great for custom banners. Now, I didn't set up any custom banners because I'm not um, that great at them, but uh, what I did do is find something important worth noting. This is a rotation of zero, and this is also a rotation of zero, but if I place the player skull, this was rotation of zero. I'm looking forward still. This is a rotation of 8, and what's happening is, again, if I place this, this is a rotation of 8, this is a rotation of 0. So you have to be careful when you're doing banners on the floor. Now, this is all the same. If you look, this is facing east. This is also facing east. Um, but this is facing of uh, this rotation of 4, this is a rotation of 12. This is a rotation of 12, this is a rotation of 4. This is a rotation of 8, this is a rotation of 0. Um, this rotation of 9, if I can get it, that's a rotation of 1. So it's a little bit confusing, um, especially if you haven't done this. And my suggestion is just place all the skulls, then place all the banners behind them. So it's obvious, and you can just be pressing F3 um, to figure out which is which. Um, now, you probably saw him using Seth Bling's head. If you don't know who Seth Bling is, he's a really... Um, he's like an old Minecraft player who did command blocks and redstone, mostly redstone. Um, but now he mostly does Mario, um, so you should be sure to check him out. Uh, he has a lot of cool content. Um, but what we're doing is to get, first off, we have to talk about getting a skull. So in the newest snapshot, it's replaced player head instead of skull with damage value of 3. And what you do is you just do skull owner, and you do your name. So Seth playing, or in this case, we're just going to use Smart Ninja 000, which is me. Um, and you will get your skull. Really nice, easy way to get it. Um, I have not set up anything for my skull, but you can make it so some of the giant structure, like a whole, like a pixel art version of your head, or something, anything you want. Um, and then what we're doing is we're, so we're filling an area. This is a five by five by five, so down five, negative five, positive or negative Z, negative Y, negative X, negative Z. Y is actually down if you didn't know that, um, but. Um, so we're filling this, so from here over five blocks, one, two, three, four, and then that's five all the way over there. You can't actually see that far. This is the farthest you can see, which is only, if you can reach it, sometimes you can get four. No, I didn't set anything up for that rotation, but if I come over here, that's forward rotation. Um, so it does guarantee that it will s set the block. Now you can even use this if, uh, for, um, player detection because if they come close to this it will change it. Um, but that's not what this video is about. I'm going to do a video on player detection later on. Um, but what this video is about is how to make structures and custom blocks with it. So we are looking for a rotation. Or First we're setting a structure block at that block. Now you can set it. Um, now if you want to do custom um, entity then I will explain that in a minute. But we set it at, um, we show the bounding box, we get its name, rotation, mode, we power it, although it's not really needed, 
and this uh, is so this the size x, y, and z is so we can see the uh, bounding box. What the bounding box is is see this little white thing. Uh, yeah, that's the bounding box. This command will be in the description, by the way. Um, then we replace the player head. Now, here's where it gets confusing. We have a rotation because we want it to be rotational. It does not need to be rotational, but there is something to note if you want it so it is rotate. If you don't want it rotational, if they place it on a wall, you will have to set up another command block for that. Um, now, rotational, and then this is the important thing. It is not skull owner. It is owner, then the name. Um, the reasoning behind that is if I just place it, if I do data get block this block, uh, you will see your first off spammed, but what's actually happening is all you're looking for is we see we start off with owner, properties, texture, signature. This is all just giving it its texture. And then you see this name set link. That's what matters. Everything else doesn't matter. Um, and this is also what pops up. Um, it's works pretty nice and easy. Um, all this junk, if you're looking at it, is 100% just for the texture. Everything else, not needed. Just care about the name. Of course, it's really easy by just hovering over it. Um, if it doesn't have a name, I suggest, um, I'm assuming you used, um, I'm assuming you use the name. If it doesn't, you can always copy the, this. Um, and the easiest way to do that is, of course, getting out your console um, or your log or whatever. Um, so, yeah, if you don't know how to do that, um, I'll show you. Uh, now, so all we're actually doing is, if you, that was really confusing, here's the basic. We place down a skull. We replace it with a block. That's pretty much it. You can also use this for custom entities. Entities are anything that uh, that you can summon. Any of these, a whole lot of them. Um, it, and the way you do that is actually a little bit different. Um, so why don't I show you? Okay, so here's what I've done. You throw it, nothing happens. Place it, summons. Uh, and now this is where it gets really confusing because here's what's actually happening if we place down our skull um, and then we get the data of it uh, you will notice we get this we get um, ID player skull tag skull owner and we get all this junk pretty crazy right if we throw down the skull and do this we still get the same thing wrong skull wrong skull we throw down the skull and get it, we get a lot less information. We just get skull owner, smart ninja. If we place down the skull, oh, if we get a new Seth Blank skull, throw that down and we do this, we also get a lot less information. So here's what's actually happening. When we are placing down the skull, we are getting, basically, it's a little bit, so here's what's, just basically what's happening is, if we get, if we place down the skull and then break it, it gets extra tags because it's been placed down. Um, the other way to simulate this is, I can't use my head, uh, is pick, picking it and then getting it. So if you pick it with the control R, um, you are actually saving tags with it. Um, what I mean by that is if you click control and the only way you could get, the only way you could like pick up a block is with the name is doing that control. So um, it just gets really confusing. But think of it this way, if it's been placed down, it, it's not from a give command, if it's not from a give command, it's been placed down at least once, it has a little extra tag called name. And this is super important and also super convenient, because that means when I throw my skull, that's a, that's an effect, when you, when you throw a skull, if you get a skull from this, okay, you throw it, Nothing happens. When you place it, 
something happens. And uh, what's actually happening, you can see it for a split second, is um, we are placing it, we're executing from the player head, uh, or, and we're replacing error. When, when, any, when the skull is placed um, and replaced, the item pops, and you can see it for a second. Uh, and then what we do is then we execute at its thing. You can also align it, um, so it would be execute align X, Y, Z. So we're just going to add that, and you can see it's even nicer. Um, execute and, and then we want to let me just align X, Y, Z. We good? Yeah, we're good. Um, now you also need to, now this one gets even more confusing, because then you want to do wrong command. Then you need to summon it ever so slightly because it's aligning at the right, at the exact edge. So you want to summon it in the middle, except not the middle of the Y because that would actually move it up. So place it down, bam, right in the middle. Um, doesn't copy the rotation, but again, you can all do that because armor stands are rotational and so are heads. Um, so it's really nice. And what's actually happening is we're replacing it air, again, same air command, except instead of trick block air, we are executing the item with now the name because it's dropped. So you need the skull owner, the name. Um, and then we are aligning it. Like we just said, you don't need to align it if you want more. Um, it makes more sense to align it because it's supposed to be um, just, yeah. Um, then we are aligning it, um, then we're running the command to summon it, and we summon it. You can add your tags and stuff, so you could do some like custom name, colon, quotes, and then you, of course, this is a new, this is a new snapshot, so you can do something like Tim. What did I mess up? I messed up the brackets, but you could do something like this, so Tim, and then you could do like I believe it's custom name visible one, and then we should get, yep, there we go. So now we have our arms and it says Tim. Um, it can, of course, it would make a lot more sense if we did Smart Ninja Zero. And you can do this to summon entities. Um, of course, again, rotational. Arm stands are completely rotational. Um, so now we have our that, which is uh, really nice. So just a nice little um, method. And of course, you can use this however you went. want. You can make this summon in a boss. You could so you have to place the skull and then boom, boss or something. Um, it's just a really nice feature um, that's super useful. Um, first of all, for loading giants, for loading something over and over and over again and rotational, because you're placing a skull, just one block instead of placing a structure block, entering all the information. It's already all preset, so you don't have to worry about them, all that. Um, it's just really nice. Now, if you are having trouble with this, feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help everyone. Um, it does get pretty confusing with the fact that um, with all this skull owner stuff, the best way to do it is throw the item, do slash data get, and then you want to do entity, and you want to do ID type equal item, and you want to do limit one. You can also, if there's more than one item, you can do sort nearest and you will get all this um, and you have to look very closely to see if you're actually using the correct item um, there's lots of problems with this um, with it gets really confusing um, of course if you do it correctly uh, it's a really nice feature um, and of course you don't have to do rotations but you can do rotations if you want it to be a little bit nicer um, I'm doing I am did rotation for the Mario because that makes sense but for the the armor stand that's just a test so uh, nice easy method um, that's it uh, again need help leave a uh, leave a comment if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful um, then yeah leave a like if you're new to the channel subscribe for more cool commands and I'll see you later oh by the way um, commands should be in the description don't quote me on that